now going to look at a relationship that is very common in our everyday life. The relationship between distance and time. In this relationship, our independent variable is time. Time won't ever change and will remain constant no matter what unit of time we are using. Distance, however, can be dependent, and in this case, it will depend on how much time has elapsed. Notice how on our graph, we will always have time, the independent variable, on the x-axis, and distance, the dependent variable, on the y-axis. Here are three examples of different distance time graphs. The graph on the blue line describes a relationship where as time moves forward, the distance away from the starting location gets further and further away. So the graph moves upwards. The red graph sort of has an opposite relationship. As time moves forward, the distance away grows shorter. So our line is moving downwards. Our green relationship has a flat line. For us, the distance isn't changing as time goes on. I guess we can say that whatever we're looking at isn't moving anywhere as the seconds tick by. So an upward trend means that we're moving away, a downward trend means that we're coming closer, and a horizontal line would mean that we're staying in the same spot. Here we have two relationships that are both moving upwards, but one is moving upwards at a steeper climb. In relations to distance and time, which one is moving faster? The dark blue line is the one that is moving faster. Notice that in the same amount of time as the light blue line, it's now further away. It will have a faster speed. We could also then say that the steeper the line, the faster it goes. So a steeper line that goes upwards will be moving away at a faster rate. Same goes for the relationships that move downwards, or that are coming closer. The red line on top is not quite as steep as the pink line below it. So the red line isn't coming as close at the same speed as the pink line. The pink line is getting closer at a much faster rate, because it is steeper. These relationships look very different. We no longer have a straight line. Instead, we have two different curves. The blue curve is still going upwards, but it seems to level off as time goes on. What could this even mean? What sort of situation would this indicate? Well, as time moves forward, we begin moving away at a fast pace, but then as time goes on, the distance away slows down. So we are still moving away, but the rate at which we are moving away slows down as time goes on. The opposite can be said about the red curve. The red curve is coming closer and closer, but it starts off coming closer at a slow pace until as time goes on, the pace quickens and our line curves down at a faster rate. Here we see an example of Devin's bicycle ride. If we take a look at this graph, notice how time is now in hours and our distance from his house is in kilometers. We've put a little bit of a story to what this graph represents. Each dot represents a moment in time where Devin has recorded his distance from his house. What do we see is the difference from when Devin travels from point A to B compared to point B to C? Two things stick out. The line AB seems much longer than the line BC. It also seems much steeper. If Devin starts his ride at home, at A, and he ends up at B, we can see that this lasts one hour, and he's traveled 10 kilometers. This also means that his speed from A to B looks to be a constant speed of 10 kilometers per hour. From point B to point C, this also lasted one hour, but the distance traveled was only five kilometers from 10 to 15. So his speed has now reduced down to five kilometers per hour. And notice how the line is not as steep as the line AB. 
what's going on between C and D? Well, from C and D, it looks like Devin had a little bit of a break. We see a horizontal line. D looks to be about halfway between 2 and 3 on the x-axis. So this would represent a half an hour. So for half an hour, Devin is just taking a break. Perhaps it's too hot out or he notices one of his friends and has a chat. His speed from C to D is 0 kilometers per hour. Something interesting happens from point D to point E. We no longer have a constant rate. There's a curve. So we can't quite determine a constant speed. But what we can say is that Devin is coming closer to home or coming back home from D to E. And that length of time goes from two and a half to four hours or an hour and a half. In an hour and a half, Devin traveled two and a half kilometers from D to E. Finally, from point E to point F, Devin rode another hour and he traveled from 12.5 kilometers away from home all the way to five. So seven and a half total kilometers in one hour, or a speed of seven and a half kilometers per hour. Can we estimate how long it might take or at what speed Devin might take in order to finish his trip home? Since we don't really have any other information other than the fact that it will take Devin some time to get home, we might be able to estimate a given time, but we really don't have enough information. A key point that we want to derive from this example is that we can find speed by taking the total distance traveled and dividing that by the time it took to go that distance. So to recap, for all distance time graphs, distance will be the dependent variable on time. So distance will go on the y-axis, time will go on the x-axis, or we can rename them the d-axis and the t-axis. As lines move upwards, the trend is you are moving away. As lines move downwards, the trend is you are coming closer. And if lines are staying flat, that means that you aren't moving at all. The steeper the line, the faster you are moving, whether that's moving upwards or downwards. And a curve simply means that you aren't moving at a constant rate. You could still be moving upwards or downwards, but your speed won't be the same throughout the movement. And while talking about speed, speed can always be found by taking the distance and dividing it by time. For our cases, we always want to look at a constant rate of speed when we deal with straight lines. For a curve, we can't find a constant speed.